Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc., helping businesses across the province grow through export. For more information, NovaScotiaBusiness.com. Founded in 1996 by a group of master craftsmen from Ireland, Nova Scotian Crystal is Canada's only maker of mouth-blown, hand-cut crystal. Located on the historic Halifax waterfront, the craftsmen work exclusively in the time-honored traditions and are dedicated to keeping the traditional techniques of crystal making alive through training the next generation of Canadian crystal makers. Nova Scotian crystal pieces are handcrafted in six main pattern suites. Annapolis, Citadel, Luna, Marguerite, Titanic, and the Windsor pattern. Each one inspired by the region, historical events, or local folklore. Some pieces are also available in other locally inspired patterns, such as the Atlantic, Canadian Spirit, Wave, and Seafarers. If you visit the Halifax waterfront, you can watch the craftsmen at work at their ancient craft. The process begins with a raw material called batch being melted in the pot. The craftsman pulls molten crystal from the fiery 1300 degrees Celsius pot. This is called a gather. The molten crystal is gathered on a blowing iron. The team of craftsmen work together, each focusing on a different task. This piece will be a martini glass. This craftsman carefully uses his breath through the blowing iron to form the bowl of the glass. Molds are used to give a piece its shape. The crystal is constantly rotated to help the piece keep its desired form. Once ready, the craftsman places the piece on a rack ready for the stemmer. The next step is done at the stemming chair, where the stem and foot will be added and shaped. Adding the correct amount for a stem or foot is very challenging, and it's the job of a master craftsman. The next gather will be for the stem, which is pulled or drawn out to the correct length. This is done by eye. The next gather of crystal is placed on the stem for the craftsman to shape the foot. Various traditional hand tools, including wet newspaper, are used to coax the molten crystal into shape. The wooden tools are made in Nova Scotia out of cherry or pear wood. This flame on the turning aid keeps the next piece warm while keeping it moving. The molten crystal is cooling as the craftsmen work. The color changes as it changes temperature. The piece is now ready to be removed from the iron. The piece is knocked off the iron, then placed into a kiln to remain at a consistent temperature of 400 degrees Celsius for the rest of the workday. A sudden change in temperature could compromise the crystal. It will cool in here overnight. Once cool, it is time to remove the cap. It's first scored, then heated along the score line, then off comes the cap. Once the cap is off, the piece is safely stored in crates. When the cap is removed, it leaves a rough, uneven edge on the glass, which must be smoothed, leveled, and beveled. Using a flat mill, 
water constantly runs over a wheel that is coated in industrial grade diamond. The craftsman carefully works the edge over the wheel. He also ensures the edge is level simply by using his eye. The craftsman completes the finishing work with an inside, then outside beveled edge. Once the edge is smooth, the piece is sent for marking. The craftsman begins by making a grid that will act as a guide for the pattern. This grid will become the Annapolis pattern. The marker checks that the grid is centered and marks the piece evenly all around. Now for the cutting stage. This master cutter is working on a diamond grade cutting wheel to cut the desired pattern for the piece. Using the marker's grid as a guide, the master cutter creates the Annapolis pattern on a whiskey tumbler. An apprentice cutter is working on a crystal Lunenburg dory. After cutting, most crystal pieces then go through a polishing bath, which brings out the brilliance of the crystal. Although quality is checked by every craftsman at every step of the process, Nova Scotian Crystal has a quality control inspector who inspects each and every piece of crystal that is made. The quality control inspector is looking for any bubbles or stones that can naturally appear as part of the process. The crystal is then loaded into a dishwasher, dried and inspected again. Each item is carefully wrapped in tissue paper, boxed in the Nova Scotian Crystal's signature orange box, and is ready to be shipped. Nova Scotian Crystal also creates custom pieces and corporate gifts that require a logo to be placed on the crystal. That is done by first applying a film to the crystal. then using a sandblasting machine to etch out the exact logo. Many people have enjoyed receiving the gift of Nova Scotian crystal. Some have included Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and Stevie Wonder, for whom a piece was commissioned with Braille. The amount of care that goes into each piece is remarkable. A finished piece of Nova Scotian crystal will be through the hands of eight craftsmen over a period of three days to three weeks to create this piece of functional art.